stars. Great upgrade from my old wind tunnel with one drawback. I have actually been flirting with getting a new vacuum for some months. I had looked at the Dyson line, but balked, frankly, at the price point. Yeah gods and little fishes, I couldn't get past it. But thanks to imitation being the sincerest form of flattery, there are a great many vacuum manufacturers who are incorporating Dyson engineering or design elements into less pricey alternatives. My previous Hoover, model U5456-900, dates back to 1999, and with the exception of an indicator light that had died within a month of owning it, I have had no problems never affected the way the unit worked as far as I can tell. I was more than willing to give a Hoover Cyclonic a try. The UH72400 is a wind tunnel 3 with a bagless Cyclonic canister. It has a smaller footprint than my old Hoover, and is quieter. This led me to wonder if it was cleaning as well, but no. It works just great. You do empty out the canister far more often than you change out a bag, but this is a little thing. Accessories, the UH72400 has exactly two accessories, a combination upholstery and crevice tool and the hose slash handle. The hose handle combination looks like it was taken directly out of the Dyson playbook, except that the machine end of the hose must be manually switched into a suction port. The working end can be released and pulled out of the body, as just a short handle, or a longer tube, to suck up small debris, but the full handle is not a telescoping variety. It turns out to be 6 inches shorter than the full accessory handle on my old Hoover, and I could not reach cobwebs and ceiling corners or curtain rods as easily. The old accessories fit, though, so I could extend my reach, but still, nowhere to conveniently store them on the machine, even if you had any you could add on. Canister, the canister has a HEPA filter and a washable filter. I've been hand washing my old vacuums filters for years, just be sure they are bone dry before you reinsert them. The HEPA filter you don't wash, just knock the excess debris from it. One button empties the canister, but unless the contents are heavy, it will need a little jiggle to flip open. Equals fair warning equals do not shake the canister empty with a twisting motion to get debris out. When I did this, the canister slash filter assembly neatly detached itself from the twist on top and handle and fell into the garbage can in a cloud of vacuum dust. Shake it up and down, perhaps a little side to side, carefully, but no twisting. That was a mess. They could probably stand to put a small friction point where the canister connects to the top to make it even slightly less easy to pop off unexpectedly during emptying. Cleaning head, it's surprising that the wind tunnel hasn't changed much in 14 years. The rotary brush is more or less the same, but there are some differences. The new unit is a lower profile, and rides low easier to reach under furniture, or under cabinet doors. Unlike my old one, it does not have an adjustable height, but is supposed to auto-adjust. Happily, this means it also flings less cat litter around when vacuuming stray litter from around the cat area, but I have no idea how well this will work on a loose pile carpet, like shag. So 70s but still can be found in the wild. Instead of a foot switch, you just press down the entire cleaning head. The rotary brush engages, and off you go. Operation, the unit has an electronic on slash off push button, which means it doesn't stay depressed once pushed on, and the only way to tell if it's on or off is if the motor turns on when you plug it in. On the flip side, 
because the rotary brushes in the wind tunnel head do not engage while the vacuum is in the fully upright position, you aren't likely to accidentally suck up the cat or anything. The maneuverability is a vast improvement over the old Hoover, and twisting the handle during operation easily changes course. The unit is less cumbersome, and a bit lighter than the old one, so I could actually lift it and use it on stair treads, dog beds, and seat cushions. Bottom line, I ran my old Hoover over my rugs, vinyl, and hardwood flooring Saturday. Four days later I ran the new Hoover wind tunnel air over the same surfaces and got an impressive, or depressing, depending how you look at it, amount of fine dirt and debris in the canister. Either I generate that much dust and dirt in four days, or my old vac wasn't cleaning as well as I thought. My old Hoover had a two-year warranty and needed two belt replacements and had a broken lead in 14 years. No major issues. The wind tunnel air comes with a five-year warranty, which I naturally haven't needed to test out as yet, but my past experiences with Hoover have been positive. At this price, if you can live with the hose length issues, this is a very decent substitute for one of the more expensive cyclonics which are two to three times the price. 4.0 out of 5 stars. Nice vacuum for our seniors. Time to give payback for all the helpful Amazon reviews I've taken advantage of. For those of you hosting arthritis, fibromyalgia, and other unwelcome company, you know the best vacuum is the one you will use. I purchased two similar bagless uprights before finding this Hoover steerable, and this is the winner by far for comfort and ease of use. 4.0 out of 5 stars. Back to Hoover. I mostly hate vacuum cleaners. Better than a broom and dust pan, of course, but I've never found a machine that I liked enough to compel regular use. Vacuuming is drudgery and I put off engaging in drudgery for as long as possible. We've purchased a variety of machines over the years to clean our carpet-free floors bagless, cordless, canister and upright. They all bring their own level of drudgery. The canisters have to be dragged around or carried. The bagless require intimate contact with the accumulated muck. The cordless don't have any power. I hate them all. This machine doesn't completely remove the drudgery, but it does the best job we've come across at a reasonable cost. Our biggest floor problem comes from dog ownership. One short-haired mutt, much shedding. Our window sills could use more regular help. The cobwebs in the corners might not become so interesting if we took an interest. This Hoover helps with all of those issues quite simply and in a way that lightweight machines can't and other full-size machines don't. Snip, snap, you're ready to go from floor cleaning to upholstery cleaning. You know why that didn't happen in our former machines? because the myriad attachments were never where we needed them to be as they'd become broken or lost. This machine has one useful attachment, snuggled securely in its place and ready to work. Excellent suction. Superb maneuverability. The dirt bin is the most easily emptied of any bagless machine we've used, although tissues or wrappers might need encouragement to dump. The cord is long enough to manage half our modest, one-story ranch home before being relocated. Four stars instead of five because it is loud, what vacuum isn't, the cord is not retractable, at this price, I'm good with that, and the motor runs hot enough that I can feel the heat emanating while I'm working. It's heavy like, but this is a full-size machine so one should expect full-size weight. Since it doesn't need to be carried around the way some other vacuum cleaners do, 
and wheels about easily, the weight is a moot point. We're in a one-story house, though. Good machine. Less drudgery. Clean house. Win. At this price, if we had a two-story house we'd buy two of these machines to keep from carting it up and down the stairs, and it would still cost less than a Dyson. 5.0 out of 5 stars. Great for hardwood floors with area rugs. This is the best vacuum I have ever owned. I love it. Our main floor is all hardwood floors, even the kitchen, and with two toddlers in the house there seems to be no end to the crumbs everywhere. I have been using a shark hardwood floor cleaner daily, and then also bring out the vacuum for the area rugs. I can now replace both with this vacuum. The one touch on slash off for the carpet beater is brilliant. I love going right from the hard floor to the rug and back again so easily. It also has great suction. We haven't had a dog in the house for a year and a half, and the first time I vacuumed the rugs with this the canister ended up full of dog hair. Clearly our old vacuum, which was less than six months old, wasn't doing the job. The vacuum was very easy to assemble and the is easy to empty. I also love the swivel steering. Overall, this is a great vacuum. 1.0 out of 5 stars. Very disappointed after 6 months. I ordered this vacuum in May, 2013. When I received it, I absolutely loved it. It was so easy to use and so lightweight. The suction was very powerful which I needed with two Pomeranians. It was so powerful that I had to clean the brush roll after vacuuming half of the house. I didn't mind. I truly felt that I found the perfect vacuum. In November six months later, the brush roll stopped working. I pulled out the manual and I tried to reset it with the reset button. It still would not work. I took the bottom panel off to check the belt and it was in good shape. I was at a loss. So disappointed, but I wanted to give Hoover a chance to make this right. So, I called their customer service. Couldn't get anyone on the phone as it was busy. So, I sent an email. I provided the serial number, manufacturer code, and model number. I got an email back today. It said that my model was a redesign and the reset button was removed. They instructed how to reset the brush roll which I tried but it still did not work. I am so disappointed. I feel like I got a refurbished model without knowing it. And it wasn't even operating properly. I have never posted a review before but I felt like this experience warranted it. I probably got a bad refurbished model. I always count on reviews on Amazon and it sounds like a lot of people have had a good experience. I did not. This experience will make me worse. Great upgrade from my old wind tunnel with one drawback. I have actually been flirting with getting a new vacuum for some months. I had looked at the Dyson line, but balked, frankly, at the price point. Yeah gods and little fishes, I couldn't get past it. But thanks to imitation being the sincerest form of flattery, there are a great many vacuum manufacturers who are incorporating Dyson engineering or design elements into less pricey alternatives. My previous Hoover, model U5456-900, dates back to 1999, and with the exception of an indicator light that had died within a month of owning it, I have had no problems never affected the way the unit worked as far as I can tell. I was more than willing to give a Hoover Cyclonic a try. 
The UH-72400 is a wind tunnel 3 with a bagless cyclonic canister. It has a smaller footprint than my old Hoover, and is quieter. This led me to wonder if it was cleaning as well, but no. It works just great.